welcome to my live here in Tennessee. I am visiting my sister, and of course, uh, we walk around, we see projects. So I brought her some paint today, and this little cabinet is one that she painted, what, a year ago? I think this was yes. a year ago? Mm -hmm. And it was in her store, and it was uh, something that, I don't know, had it gotten damaged or whatever. But no, it was just, it wasn't a pretty color. Something she didn't like. So anyway, we, she painted it in Cathedral, and it was really, really gorgeous detail. And it's a solid wood piece that she brought in on a container from somewhere. And uh, she brings, you know, she's in the furniture business, so she has a lot of great pieces. And this was one of those, and she carried it home, sets the television on it. So I thought, uh, I've got to antique that thing. i got to bring this beautiful detail out. So I'm going to be using the whitewash antiquing gel and show you how quickly you can bring out great detail using this fantastic product. So I'm just going to go right in there. My sister Sherry is holding the camera and she's going to take your questions. So if you have some questions, we sound exactly alike. So it's her talking. When I'm talking, you might not be able to tell the difference. So um, anyway, you'll when you hear her talk, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so anyway, hello. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to smear this on pretty much all Robin you Robin Weiss to. said hello. Sherry hi, Mark. Robin. Sherry Marler said hi. Hello, Sherry. Just say uh, Diane Wyatt Hello, Hello, Paula. Hello. Hope you had a nice drive to your family. Uh -huh. Oh, I did. I took the scenic route. Today, I decided that uh, I had not been down to Tennessee in a while, but I also had not been on any of the old so They're roads. saying they cannot hear. What's wrong with it? I don't know. You can't hear at all? Can you hear at all? Say if you can hear me. Yay or nay. Can they hear us at all? They're not saying. They're just saying I'll hello. Give them a half a second, and then you'll see the reply. But if you can't hear, just say so. I'll try my best to talk loud. I'll put on my loud voice. But I'll do my best to speak up. Anyway, I took the back hello. roads. Took the back roads, and I came through Jellico. If y'all, anybody from Jellico, Tennessee, I came through there, and beautiful Elk Valley, and uh, just kind of took that road versus... Okay, country. now they said, Jennifer said she can hear fine. Good. I can hear, so we got to hear. All right, some everybody do, can hear. Some don't, so that's Okay. Right. So just turn the volume up on your phone, ladies, and just, if you see comments and they're in your way, just take your finger and slide them off. I can't slide them off. You have to. So slide them over. I'm just putting this whitewash. Hello from Pittsburgh. I'm just putting the whitewash antiquing gel here. And uh, then we're going to take a soft cloth and just remove it. So I'm pushing it right down into all the detail. And we'll just probably do this whole door and maybe this whole frame. I'm not sure exactly where I'll stop. We'll just see as we go. So ask questions if you have any. We're using whitewash antiquing gel, and I'll show you one door with and one door without in just a second. So, uh, Just I, very low volume. Maybe you need to turn it up on your phone. I'm not really sure. Yeah, just turn your volume up on your phone, probably. That's the easy way. If we'll I'm, try turning it up here as well and okay. see if that does anything. Well, I don't know that you can do that, but you can try. I don't think it will, but we'll see. All right, sounds good. Right there. Okay. So, uh... I'm oh. sorry. I don't really know then how to. <laughs> it's all right. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's connections on everybody's end. So let's just take the dry cloth and remove and see all this great detail just come back to life here where it was kind of all missing before and uh, just kind of went away. And now we'll see this pretty piece and we'll take it off of this frame for now. And as you can see, you can just remove it right back to where you can't tell, but it's even on the piece. And then we move here. I'm using a dry cloth. And I want to be real careful to remove it so I don't leave smear marks like that. I want to just move it like I want to leave it. I even hit the handle here, which is great. And I'm just going to keep rubbing it back. But isn't this a gorgeous little piece for all that detail to be covered up? And uh, Sherry probably wasn't going to fool with it anymore. But <laughs> I was like, all right, we're going to antique that thing. Every time I've been in here, this is the room I stay in in her house, and she's redone this little room. It's so cute, but I can't look at this knowing I've got Did you apply this generously? Well, you saw there, you just put it down into all the recesses. That's the place you want to concentrate the most, is to get down in the low areas. I'll do it again here so you can see. But I don't, you don't waste the product, but there's no need to kind of overdo, because you remember you're going to wipe it away. But what you got to do is remember to get down in all the low areas. Really does whitewash work if there is no detail? Yes, it does. But you're going to have to remove it differently. You're going to like here, if we're going to leave it, I'm going to remove more in a circular motion. But it does work when there's no detail. But I'm going to just concentrate here on this particular. Would this work with paint also? This with paint also? This is our paint. This is Cathedral that's on here. And uh, 
It works with our paint. Now, will it work with other paints? Probably. I know it works with our paint. We don't test with other paint brands, but you can if you would like. You can try it. With Maybe they're meaning would paint do the same thing as this antiquing? Paint thing. will do this similar idea, but the difference in whitewashing, the difference in whitewashing and paint using it as a wash is this is, if I could describe it anyway, it's slick, it's slippery, and it's going to have an open time that's extended versus what mixing water with paint will do. If you mix water and our paint together, you can get this look but it's gonna grab, it's gonna hang on in certain areas and it'll give you a more uneven look. If you use this product, it's gonna give you a sealed version of that same idea. It's got a lot more slide, a lot more glide, it's gonna move easier and it's gonna give you again another extended open times where you can remove it with a dry rag versus having to work a lot harder and then gonna get much better looking results as far as the flat areas and so on. So. I think this is hard to beat, and uh, you can just keep dialing it back to the look you want. If you got more on than you want, you can also dampen your cloth, but I like removing it first to see with a dry, move to the moist cloth if need be, but I'm going to leave it like that because I think it can't be any prettier. Yes, you can use it over something that's already painted. That's what we're doing yes. here. Now, if you're using other brands of paint, like a latex paint or something like that, you're not going to get the same effect because latex has a coating already on it. Our paint has a built-in primer and a sealer, so it is a sealed paint, but uh, you can see right here it's got a beautiful low luster matte sheen. If you had something like latex that's got a gloss to it, this is not going to give you this beautiful look that you're going to get using this product. Does it so, come in a silver, they're wanting to know, or a not. black? It comes in black, it sure does, but it doesn't come in any metallics. There's no metallics in it. Only in, uh, comes in a beautiful brown called Vintage Brown. It comes in whitewash that we're using here. It also comes in uh, oil rubbed black. And oil rubbed black is a beautiful warm black. So just a gorgeous shade of black. It's not hard looking, but it still gives you that black tone. And then it also comes in a gray called Weathered Wood. So it's going to give you a very, um, going to give you the look if you want. It is farmhouse. wood. This is a wood piece. Yeah, this is wood, but it wouldn't matter if it wasn't wood. It will work just the same as long as it was painted. Using our paint, you're going to get this same look. You're going to get the same effect on your piece. If you've got great detail, the more detail, obviously, so the more look you're going to get using something like an antiquing gel. This is a phenomenal product for us. No, it would not remove the base color at all not if at we all. moistened the rag. No, nope. it would just remove more of the white. Yes, that's right. You don't, uh, after this paint has cured like here, like this has been on here for a couple of years, mm -hmm. this has been done. It's a not, it's not going to remove any of that at all. This paint is extremely durable and uh, this is even acting like another top coat over it, even though the paint doesn't need a top coat. This is not like a wax would be. They want to know what the gray color is and what is this? Is this white? This is white wash antiquing gel. And if you go to our website, you can look for, an just search in this toolbar for antiquing gel. And you'll see one can come up with a drop box that gives you all the color names. Yes, so you would have four. to stir it. Yeah. Always good to stir any product because you never know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. Even if you pick it up at home, if it's been sitting there, always good to stir anything. That means you're going to stir up the dryers and the color that may have deposits and settled in the bottom. Just a good habit to get in when you're painting with any paint products. I recommend giving it a good shake, a good stir. And when you have a big cord of something, always stirring is the best method. Especially if you want to do some touch-up later. If you're painting your cabinets and so on. There you go. So keep pushing it right down. I'm using the Syntec brush, which really makes it easy to get into little nooks and crannies. And uh, the tapered head of that brush is a fabulous way to really get in there and get down into all of the areas. Just the shape of that brush is designed to make it easy to manipulate the hairs. Wipe it around the edge. Make sure when you open the door that it still looks good. I keep turning my rag to keep a nice clean area on the rag so it's not wet and wipe it up. Open can you edge. use this paint on lampshades? <clears throat> uh, you can use the paint on a lampshade, yes, you sure can. Just do Can that. you use it on a wood wall? You can, yeah, you can. You can paint pretty much anything with it. You can paint appliances, you can paint metals, glass, interior and exterior is the other beautiful thing. So you can paint your front door 
And if you are new to our products and you would like to get yourself a free sample, just go, we'll just comment right here and I'm gonna send you a link to get yourself a free sample that will also take you to join our group. And you can see about 165,000 people who are using the product and posting fabulous results, doing all types of projects, something like this, as well as painting leather, vinyl, wood, metal, glass, interior, exterior projects without doing any type of a sealer or a top coat as well as just getting the product ready to go on. The only thing you need to do is clean and paint. So just clean and paint is our tagline and it's the easiest product you'll ever, ever use to give you professional, awesome results and designer things around your home. And everything can look fabulous just with a quick little brush of paint, as you'll see right here. I'm gonna show you the difference. I did make myself a note to say, take a good before photo. I was so excited to do this. I almost forgot it again. I do that so often forget to take that before picture and that means yes so just much. keep commenting sam sample if you need a sample sure. if you've not gotten one before and you want to get one i'll send you that link right when we get off of here i'll go back through these comments and send you that so you can get yourself or you can actually go to our website and get it yourself just by going to allinonepaint.com forward slash free sample all right so there you go so let's make sure everything matches once we close it back what do you think are you happy i did this Mm -hmm. I think it looks really good. I like I it. Too. I, do I too. like it well. I think it looks great. So I don't think we need to do anything on the edges. No. Just kind of leave that little frame, don't you think? Just that mm -hmm. little dark border. I think just it makes looks fine. Pop. Mm -hmm. So because this is the antiquing gel, it's allowing us to go in here and just kind of buff that back and rub it right off of there without doing any harm to the paint at this time. But of course, as that begins to dry, it's going to harden and cure out so you couldn't wipe it off like you can right now. So that's a temporary timeline that you have there to manipulate this. So let's see. Do we match pretty good? I think so. I think it looks good. I think it looks great. Mm -hmm, I do too. All right then. All right. All right guys. We thank you so much for being here with us and I hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday and have a great Memorial Day. And again, we thank you so much for being here. Please comment below if you'd like to get a sample to say, I want a sample, and we'll send you that link to get yourself a free 8-ounce sample of the all one paint. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.